Hey, what's going on collectors out there, Star Wars fans and 6 scale collector out there? This is Brandon Jackson coming to you from yodasnews.com. Um, and what we're doing today is the unboxing of the 1-6 scale Sideshow Collectibles 5's Arc Trooper Clone Phase 2. Um, this is a figure that I've been looking forward to. I first saw it on display at Comic-Con 2014 and I've been excitedly waiting for this to come. There's a couple delays in this figure but now we have it and we're going to be bringing you the unboxing. Okay, let me go ahead and get out the way so we can go ahead and show you this figure. Okay. Let's cut the tape off as we all do my makeshift box cutter which is just a good old handy daddy kitchen knife and as you see as this is my first time this is your first time let me go ahead and bring it up closer let you get a better look at the artwork Right here, got the Sideshow Collectibles exclusives, of course, because I pre ordered it, so I got the exclusive. Some more artwork, and here, right here, as you see, Let's zoom in on this a little bit or zoom the figure. All right, let's go ahead and crank, get this baby out of here. Some people have their little traditions of how they open up their figures and what they do and rituals and stuff like that. I have none. I just open it and get it, get to putting it together. So this straight out the box is a pretty awesome figure. Let me go ahead and take this top clamshell off so you can see, see it better. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The packaging is always outstanding from what Taicho does. It comes with the multi clamshell packaging on this. And here he is in the box. I'll give you a better, let me get this plastic off this head scope. So I know it's what everybody wants to see is the detail in the head scope and how this actually came out and is a true to prototype. And I must say, in my personal opinion, this is, if I think it's a little bit better than the prototype that I originally saw. So here's a closer look of them. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the actual trooper out. So it comes with multiple accessories comes with the, of course, the figure itself. Then it comes with um, backpack, blaster rifle, two blaster rifles, a, um, what do you call it? Droid proper slash grenades. So I got the exclusive version. So the exclusive version comes with the new, the actual stand, the 501st Arc Trooper 5's stand. So here's what it looks like. Let me try to get that glare out of there. There you go. And zoom that in or bring it closer to the camera, I should say. Pretty nice. Has a little alien um, symbol from where. Uh, I believe it was the Rookies episode, season three you know, of Clone Wars. Definitely one of my favorite episodes within the Clone Wars series. Clone Wars being an awesome part of addition to the movies. Not everybody's a fan, but you know, it can't please everybody. I'm definitely a fan. So I stand corrected um, earlier. I just said he comes with two blast rifles. He also comes with two blaster pistols. So let me give you... A little look at the other accessories that it's coming with. Comes with this backpack. Let me focus the camera a little. There we go. 
Here comes the side blaster rifle. As always, Sideshow always does a very good job with packaging their uh, their figures and collectibles to make sure that you guys get them in good condition. All right, let's go ahead and set this off to the side for now. Let's go ahead and look at the figure. Start putting them together a little bit. Take out these extra. So one thing about the arc arc troopers is they are always they're the special forces of the clone troopers. So they're definitely always heavily equipped with extra armor, extra weapons, extra cartridges, grenades, so forth, so they can do those higher caliber missions. So here's the figure itself. Let's we'll see, let's test the balance on them. See how well this new body stand up. If it can stand up at all. And not very well to be honest, but hey, that's what we got stands for. So it's gonna be a little challenge doing some photography with this figure in the future, but I'll figure it out as always. So the backpack that he comes with is magnetic. Okay. So let me go ahead and uh, give some closer ups on this. We'll give it a good 360 view. The detail on this is incredible. I'm sorry, the light, the lighting to bring you uh, better resolution it's washing out a little bit of the detail on it in regards to the weathering but the weathering on this is magnificent definitely in comparison to an arc troopers uh, excuse me regular clone troopers by sideshow first came out the, they were to me in my opinion a lot of other collectors agreed were a little too clean to be rugged um you know soldiers on the battlefield but they definitely along the way have stepped up their game in regards to um, good fine weathering and detail and stuff like that on these uh, clone troopers. Let's go ahead and uh, put his pistols in there. All right, let's go ahead and switch out these hands because they're usually standard uh, when figures come from Sideshow, especially all the clones that they come with the closed hands. So you can't put any closed fist in hands, so you can't put any in there. But one thing I love about Sideshow is that all their figures come with individual pegs for each one of their, uh, their hands and foot accessories. So if you have a peg, you're roughing it up too much and it breaks off, you can always just easily replace that with a um, with another peg that you have because like I said each peg has its own hand uh, ha it's, excuse me each hand has its own peg so go ahead and get that blaster rifle on there One thing I definitely, another thing I love about Sideshow when it comes to these higher end um, art troopers and stuff like that is, or excuse me, just the clone troopers period, they always come with a variety of hands. So, you know, guys like me who like to do figure photography and stuff like that, we can take them out and do various poses, various action scenes, throw some good old battle droids in there and rough them up or get other uh, clone troopers in there to go ahead and do some dynamic poses and stuff like that so it just gives you a variety of ways to display your figure or even take good action shots and recreate some good scenes from either tv shows or just your own things that you just want to do 
All right, so now we got the hands in there. And oh, another thing I wanted to go ahead and point out, same thing, is you see the same uh, little accessory that is on uh, Echo is the different buttons, the painted buttons that you have on the actual uh, rocket blaster that they have. The detail, like I said before, on these, this figure is just phenomenal. I am thoroughly impressed by it, and definitely he's going up in my top five favorite clone troopers that I have in my collection, which is pretty robust collection. Not to brag or anything. All right, let's go ahead and pop this helmet off. Put this head on. And always be careful with your figures, of course, because uh, <laughs> they're not cheap. Whoops. There we go. And figure head definitely fits on a little tight, which is good. We don't want the head randomly popping off. Just going to push them back a little bit. Let me get this little clutter out of the way. All right, so there you have it. This is the Arc Trooper 5s from Sideshow Collectibles. If you like this review and it was helpful with, with your decision in buying one, you can go ahead and uh, give it a like. You can purchase this still right now at Sideshow Collectibles. Let's go to SideshowToy.com and order one. Or if you're overseas, it's of course your uh, definitely local distributor or comic book shop. And, uh, you, if you want to check us out on Yoda's News, you can go to yodasnews.com on the web, or you can check us out on Facebook, which is also can be found on Yoda's News. And or we're also on Instagram, which is also under Yoda's News. So go ahead and all the links will be uh, contained in the YouTube video. All right, it's Brandon Jackson signing out from Yoda's News. Thanks.